set in the Las Vegas desert. The film Casino involves the mafia, power, glamour, and money. This film is very reminiscent of Luca Magnata's life and draws many parallels, especially the character Sharon Stone portrays. Stone's character was a glamorous Las Vegas high-priced prostitute who worked the casinos and was involved with very powerful men in the mafia. Just as in the film Casino, Luca lived the same life. Magnata lived and worked in Las Vegas for years, entertaining all of his high-roller clients and spending a lot of time in the Vegas Strip. Luca was always staying in the most expensive hotel suites and seeing the richest clientele. The hotels Luca stayed in and visited are things that you only see in the movies. He was living in lavish Las Vegas penthouses and was provided for in every way possible. Luca was earning so much money he couldn't find places to store it. Just like in the film Casino, Magnata had a very abusive pimp named Manny Lopez, who took a lot of Luca's hard-earned cash. And if any of you ever wonder what Luca's real personality is like, it's almost identical to Sharon Stone's in the film Casino. Everybody always asks me how I have so much inside information and details about Magnata and his life. I actually have access to a lot of Luca's friends, relatives, and associates, and I have done extensive research and interviews with these people. I have done countless hours of exclusive recorded interviews with Luca's friends, relatives, and ex-clients, whom I wish to remain anonymous. Back to the details of Luca's life in Las Vegas. Nobody knows anything about Luca, and the media got almost everything wrong. Luca's real story was never told, only bits and pieces. The stuff released by these idiots in the press, none of Luca's friends or lovers ever went on the record to speak about him. And all these posers and con artists you see giving interviews about Magnata are fakes. Luca never met these idiots and doesn't know who any of them are. They're all liars who are for sale to the highest bidder. Magnata never met or dated any transsexual, and he is repulsed actually by these types of people. While in Las Vegas, Luca's favorite hotel was the Bellagio. He would stay in the best suites his clients provided for him. Everything was handed to Luca, and he would get the best treatment. All the staff loved him. Everyone in Las Vegas knew and adored Luca. He was one of the most successful and popular male escorts. Luca took care of everyone. He would pay off all the security guards at the hotels. The casino workers would always receive large tips from Luca, and he would always be at the restaurant bars socializing or at the casino floor with his high roller clients. Luca loved the craps tables, and he made a lot of money. All of his high roller clients. They all brought Luca everywhere and showed him off like a trophy. Luca was at all the most important events in town, mingling with all the politicians and mafia men. Magnata, as reported to me by one of his clients, was constantly shopping and buying all the best clothing. He drove the best cars and particularly loved his white Camaro convertible, one of his wealthy clients bought for him. Luca would spend all of his days shopping at the luxury high-end stores and going to parties and lounging at the pools. Like in the film Casino, Magnata had a lot of wealthy Las Vegas elite after him. These men went to great lengths to date and marry Luca. A lot gave him lavish and expensive jewelry. Luca was so experienced with his clients and so skilled at seduction, he would be able to keep his men all weekend long, and Luca would be paid astronomical amounts of money. The clients would make countless trips downstairs to the hotel bank machines, and Luca would leave with bags full of cash. On the way out of the casinos, Luca would always pass $100 bills to the valet drivers, security guards, and managers. While on the casino floor, the escort clients would pass Luca game chips, and Luca would accumulate these chips and cash them at the end of the night. Luca would walk away with thousands of dollars in cash. The parallel to Luca's life in the film Casino are endless. Luca was always walking around in the best and most expensive clothing and jewelry. The Mafia men in Las Vegas were really good lovers, but they were also very closeted. So there was a lot of sneaking around, and Luca had to be very careful. Luca also had a lot of very 
sick stalkers and obsessed fans he needed to avoid. It always bewilders me why the media only focused on a very small and limited aspect of Luca's life, and even then, the idiot journalist got everything incorrect. Luca was traveling in between Las Vegas and Los Angeles very frequently. One memorable experience is recounted by Luca's clients goes as follows. Luca was outside of the larger hotels in Vegas and was having a cigarette. Just so everyone is aware, Luca is a chain smoker. He smokes very heavily, still, to this day. So anyone who thinks Luca quit smoking is an idiot. People need to stop thinking they know what Luca is or isn't doing. None of you will ever know what Luca is or is not doing. So anyways, back to our story. Luca was outside the hotel and a large limousine pulled up. Inside was a well-known mob gangster in the city. He was soliciting Magnata outside the hotel and trying to get Luca to enter the limo. Finally, Luca accepted the offer and collected a lot of money up front. The limo pulled up and Luca was served some champagne. The limo pulled into a secluded parking lot. But just as the two were engaging in sexual activity, two other cars pulled up to the limo. The gangsters started pulling out a gun. Luca was told to get down. McNaught was furious and started screaming and yelling at the gangster for involving him in such a dangerous situation. The two cars seen in the argument were startled. So whatever was about to happen was averted by Luca's loud yelling. Luca kept the money. Luca also confirmed that Manny Lopez, his Las Vegas pimp, was taking a large cut of Magnata's earnings. Manny Lopez originated from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Luca said he has no idea if Manny Lopez was involved in unsolved homicides in New Mexico, especially the unsolved cases of prostitutes. Manny Lopez talked about a prostitute named Victoria back in Albuquerque, New Mexico. When Luca confronted Manny about the unsolved West gravedigger murders in New Mexico, Manny denied involvement. A lot of evidence exists Manny was involved with Luca and dating Luca for years, including pics online of them together, pics of Luca's abuse by the hands of Manny. Lawyer testimonials, emails, friends encountering Manny and Luca together. People I've spoke to have met and seen Manny, so I'm confused as to why all these idiots in the Montreal police refused to search for Lopez. Luca had multiple telephone accounts and cell phones and used the video chats online to speak with people. The Montreal police said that they only checked one cell phone, and that's it. Huge example of incompetence. So anyways... Manny was managing Luca in Las Vegas for a period of time. Then, Luca decided just to manage himself. Luca spent a lot of time living in Las Vegas at his condo, and also a lot of time traveling back and forth to Las Vegas when he lived in different cities. The only difference between Luca and Sharon Stone's character in Casino is that Luca never was into drugs. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed hearing more about Magnata's life. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, and share. More is to come.